Yoshi, though, was the difference on the mound. Ball gets away. Tough outing for Hutton. He can't walk guys like that. He walked McCray. He walked Alfonso. Four straight balls. 14 pitches, 12 balls. He's gone. Loop single here. Scores McCray. Made it one zip. Alfonso and Olerud score on sack flies. It's three zip. HR, the Reds didn't help themselves on the base pass. No, right here. This ball's hit by Naves. Now they're running, thinking that ball's going to be in the gap. McCray with a great layout. Takes his time to go ahead and get the double off there on, on Dimitri Young. Back to Yoshi, looking for a complete game. Yes, sir. Steins, 5-4-3. He goes the distance. 6-1 Mets win. Mets fans want uh, management to go after Mike Piazza. You talked to Steve Phillips. Are they doing anything? Well, he's actually trying to go out and get some offense. He's, he said, I'm making offense to everybody, trying to get some offense. I wouldn't rule out Piazza, but there has been talk that they have a trade that's imminent right now with four different players. He said it's not, ne not necessarily going to get done that way. All right, the Marlins lost three or four since the deal. Jim Leland uh, hasn't quit yet. Devon White, talk about twisting the old knife in the back. The old former Marlin sends one of the gap in right center. Bell scores. Diamond backs up 5-4. White's in second. He goes to third. Mike Piazza's throw goes into left field. And White comes in and scores easily. Six win in seven games. White, 11 for 35 with five RBIs. Hey, top one, Nephi Perez on third with a leadoff triple. How about Denny Nagel going to work? Yeah, he's so overlooked right there. That was a cutter in on the hands on Burks here. Just a little infield fly to, to Weiss. He does Larry Walker. Changes speeds on the breaking ball. He's shown him one a little harder before that. And then he gets Dante Bichette. You saw him go in, out, keep the hitters off balance. It was outstanding. Second inning, Nagel getting a little glove work. Chipper Jones diving to his left, taking one away from Colburn. Third inning, Chipper at the plate. Waits on that curveball and delivers it. Walt Weiss challenges Walker, and here's the play at the plate. Safe by a foot, Braves up one zip. Fifth inning, trouble for Hotlanta. Hot hitting, Walt Weiss rounds out, but this they did not need to see. Pulls up with a banged up hamstring, yet to leave the game. But Nagel gets Perez into a 6-4-3 double play. Nagel, shutout ball into the eighth inning. Another tremendous pitching performance from those at Atlanta. <laughs> Nothing over the Rockies. I mean, we've Pops one into foul ground. Pudge Rodriguez, a six-time gold glover, can't get it, but he does get a snack from a fan. Guys like Pudge love nachos, don't they? More fan involvement later, we'll get to that. Top four, four two M's, Junior, done. Two-run shot, 17th of the year, Junior three for five on the day, 6-2 Mariners. Bottom six, now 7-2, Rangers main man answers. Oh yeah, Juan Gonzalez, two-run shot of his own, his 11th of the year, 7-4 Mariners. Now 7-6 in the eighth, one on, none out. Kevin Elster bunts, David Segui, great decision to go to second. A-Rod turns a double play, Mariners get out of the eighth inning. Top nine, Rich Amaral tries to steal third. Luis Alisea thinks he has him, but Amaral ruled safe his third stolen base of the year. Amaral would score. And then Johnny Oates comes out to argue the call third. Now, check this out. A fan comes out of the stands. He says, Johnny, I got it. He's arguing the play. What an idiot. That's ridiculous. The guy got arrested. People don't do that at home. Johnny Oates says, well, he argued the call. The fan who got arrested, his buddy's collecting bail money. Seriously. You're right. He is an idiot. Bobby Ayala stays in for the ninth. Domingo Cedeno loops one to center. Griffey charges. But it's just off his glove. Cedeno three for five. He gets a double. Next batter, Rusty Greer. Rusty, big up respect. Lines one to left, off the wall. Cedeno scores. Greer is going to wind up at third base. Rusty Greer was three for four. He and Cedeno together, six for nine. Rangers within one, eight, seven. Next batter, Gonzalez getting the J.U. ice. Greer scores 54 RBI for Juan this year, best in the bigs. Tie game 8-8. Lou Pinnell's bullpen fails him. After a walk to Pudge, Alisea against Ayala. Alisea wins. To the gap in right center, Gonzalez trots home. Alisea, two for two. Another wild win for the Rangers. Junior Bumman did get a 17th. Second in the bigs, second in the AL, excuse me, behind A-Rod. Not enough, though. Texas wins 9-8. Talk about a funky game. A fan runs out in the field to argue with an umpire. And facing Ben Grieve. Grieve rubbing it out. The rookie is just fat. His sixth home run of the year. That one to deep right field. One zip A's. 
bottom one, Mr. SB, Jim Edmonds, as cool as the other side of the pillow. Jim's eighth of the year. He would later get another one. He has 100 career home runs. That's his seventh career multi-homer game, two on Angels. Jack McDowell settles down, gets Ricky Henderson to strike out in the breaking ball, then schools Jason McDonald on the inside curveball. Three Ks in the game for Black Jack. In the fourth, McDowell, awkward delivery, and Terry Collins comes out to see if he's okay. McDowell's telling Collins, I got it, all right? I got it. Does he have it, Rich? He has it. He does? Gets Bowers to ground out to Gary DeSarcina. I was looking for you to say he got it. Oh, okay. Tried to set you up there. Oh. Bottom seven, Garrett Anderson, like the way you work it. His third home run of the year to deep right field. Angels up 4-2, the beginning of an eight-run inning. Reynolds into short center. Carl Everett, nice dive and grab. Looking at it again, you will see Everett still makes the catch. Made the catch again in the replay? Unbelievable. Oh, wow. Bottom of the four, still scoreless. Fulmer trying again, but Reynolds gets him looking. One of nine Reynolds strikeouts in the game. Top of the fifth, Craig Biggio on third with one out. I think he's chewing gum. Bill Spires, the grounder to Mike Mordecai, drawn in, throws home. Chris Widger survives the blast, holds on to the ball. BGO is out. We're still scoreless. Top of the six. Two runners on for your pitcher. Reynolds fakes the bunt, slaps at the ball. Montreal not expecting that. The ball hits Tim Bogar and Tony Eusebio rumbles in all the way from second for the first run, which is all that Reynolds needed. He'd get five more runs of support as the Astros win 6 0. A five hitter for Reynolds. His Jeremy Gonzalez gets Karros going the wrong way, caught in a rundown, and damage here. Blauser missed the tag, but ouch. Karros had to leave the game with a dislocated pinky. That's why you see so many players put a batting glove in your hand. That way you don't leave that finger exposed. Mark Grace, where's the power coming from? 3-3. Three, three. He was 3-for-3 three three with two RBI, six homer of the year. Now to the seventh. Well, Mo Holland had an 0-2 count here on Cedeno, and he just tried to get a little bit too fine. He tried to go up and in with the cutter there, and then tried to get that breaking ball over. 3-2 breaking ball, and then the fastball up and away for ball four, and ends up walking in a run. Charlie Johnson showing some crafty D in the bottom of the eighth. Blouser, a mile high. Johnson, Carl, as you would say, concentration. Look at this. Watch him stand up. That is just concentration, standing with that ball up against the brick fence. Nice catch. He told me I would have climbed over that brick wall. All right, Dodgers over the Cubs, 7-3. <laughs> Cubs were getting... How about Jarrett right early on? Well, he wiggled out of a lot of things early, Carl. Right here, he gets to, to throw a nice fastball and to throw him out to get out of that jam. Bottom four, guess what? He's in a jam again. This time, Sutton, fastball, see ya. Next batter, Conine. Jarrett Wright mixing his pitches. Good night. Wright out of trouble again in the fifth. Then the Indians play blue ball up three zip. Well, that's what happens when you got Kenny Lofton and Vizquel at the top of your order. You're able to do so many things. Lofton had got on third base, and you get the ground ball here. Put pressure on the defense when he's at third. He ends up scoring on that ground ball. And then Omar Vizquel, after stealing third, ends up scoring on this little blooper by Tony. They just provide so much more pressure to the defense, Carl. Fifth RBI in the series. Indians get four in the sixth. They are up six zip. Jeff Conine, the former Marlin, and he goes down the line. And hats off to Jim Tomei. Nice job. Oh, okay. He did not need to do that. Oh, it's pretty, though. He did not need to do that. That's how you make baseball. No, no doubt. He, no quit, but he did not need to do that. 6 2 of the Indians on top of the. Bert handed in this one. Rafi Palmer. Quadrangular deep to right. Number nine for him. Not in this game. That'd be a record. One nothing else. Top of the fifth. Same score. And Pettit. He'll have some defense behind him. Lenny Webster. Bit of a looper. Chuck Knobloch going after it. Blind catch making the play. Good D from second. Bottom of six. Joe Girardi's on first. Dale Swain, your batter. No out. Swain, the grounder. Bobby Alomar tries to get fancy. He gets an air instead. E4 on that. Runner safe. Next batter is Chuck Knobloch. He'd made the big play on defense this time. Throwing down the bunt. Cal Ripken charging. Play bad. Game tied at one. Runners on second and third. Nobody out. The next batter is Derek Jeter. Scott Erickson taking over. Mows him down. There's one out. Next batter, Paul O'Neill. He's swinging and missing. Next batter, Bernie Williams. Hard, little routine grounder. Erickson gets out of the jam real well. Eighth inning, still tied. Base is loaded for Paul O'Neill. Just got a new deal. O'Neill looking to do big things. Steady does that thing. Just a little fielder's choice, but Dale Swaim's coming across to score. Gives the Yanks a 2 1 lead. The Yanks would get an empty net goal and win it by a count of 3 to 1. A little manager 
a bit frustrated. Ray Miller gets tossed late. Three ones, your final. It's a three game afternoon. Bottom one, Todd Walker. Deep to right. Higo going back. We're at the baggie. Oh, a little stop, stutter step. Touchdown in the back of the end zone. A little pop two. Bip Roberts on second. Higginson waited on that Eric Milton curveball. Just long enough. Ninth of the year. It's 3 1. That's the 15th straight game now with a homer. Higginson went three for four. Tony Clark. A little Q shot. Roberts scores all the way from second. Tony Clark, four for five. The Bipster. Tony Clark, four for five. They win six. Club. 13 game home run streak. Gantz home run in the third. Kept that alive. Now it's Mike Lieberthal for the opposition. His fourth of the season off Todd Stottlemyre. Phillies quickly go up three to two. In the fifth, Stottlemyre's on first. Two out. Ray Langford goes down and takes one off the dirt to left center. Stottlemyre would score from first to tie it at three. Langford, though, gets into a bit of a pickle between second and third. He's got problems. Well, he keeps going, so they'd cut it off and get him out so that run would score, so Stoudemire, the pitcher, was able to score. Wind was blowing quite a bit, Carl. Much leave with all here with the, the catcher having a little struggle with this blooper here. But the biggest, this is kind of ugly right here. Gary Gaetti got caught up. And the ball bounced back off that turf and hit him in the eye. He looked it in, but it's not the way he wanted to look it in. Left the game with a bruise over that left eye. Wayne Gomes, Mark McGuire, nasty. McGuire, on the pitch previous to that, hit a foul ball into the upper deck. Missed a home run by about 30 feet, and then he gets Greg Vaughn hitting everybody. This single to center, two runs come across. The Padres are up early by a score of two to nothing. Vaughn not only hitting for power, but average as well. To the third, 2-1, Padres. With a man on second, Allensworth. Grounds back to Kevin Brown, and Wally Joyner, that is an error. Brown can't get it. Young scores tied at two. Two batters later, Pirates continue to put runs on. Allensworth scores on Strange's double, his only hit of the game. The throw gets away at second. Gann's going to try to score, and not a good decision. Pirates are up three to two. He's out. To the sixth, same score, Ed Giovanola. To right, Gian going back. Is the ball out? No, what a nice catch against the wall. Well, that was an excellent catch as he went back and cut that thing over his shoulder. But Schmidt, you're talking about Schmidt. The adjustment he made is he got Wally Joyner on two different fly balls. He made the left-hander start to hit the ball the other way. Deanne doesn't come up with that great catch. He saw the ball pulled by the left-hander, but he start, kept the ball away, made him hit it away, got the out. Hamilton on second, Billy Miller facing Scott Carl to the left center field gap. Hamilton would come around and he would score. That gave the Giants a 1-0 lead, and that gave Kirk Reeder just about all he would need. Well, he had an excellent ball game. What's the, the pitch, though, he makes here? Fastball in. Great. Uh, what's the slide? There's a little cutter here to Vina. Eric Owens to do that. He's going to throw one in. Eight innings, one hit, one run. Giants are up 5-1. Hamilton's on first, and it's a day for Billy Miller. Double to the gap in left center. Hamilton goes around third. Relay throw not in time. And Scott Carl out seven runs and ten hits in five innings. And he walked a career-high seven. Miller's four hits, a career-high.